First, though, as you've been watching here on News 6, it's all systems go for this historic launch today. We have crews spread out on the Space Coast from NASA's Kennedy Space Center to where people will be watching the Axiom launch. Our team coverage begins now with News 6's Eric Von Aiken live at KSC. And Eric, you've covered many rocket launches, but this one is the first of its kind. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, everyone. Yes, this is very different because these are to be the first ever four private astronauts. So what does that mean? This crew of four right now on top of that launch pad in the Dragon crew capsule strapped into their seats ready to go in about an uh, two hours and 17, 16 minutes to be exact. They have made it very clear that they are not tourists. They're from Spain, Israel, Canada, and the United States, specifically Dayton, Ohio. They have said that they know the expe expectations are high for what they're about to do. The first time that private astronauts will go to the space station. They're not going to go up and float around like the Inspiration4 crew did and just take it all in and enjoy space. They're there to work, they say. They want to be astronauts. What is an astronaut? So two definitions, really, or two parts to one definition. First, that you go to space, and two, that you do something to better humanity. So the commander of this mission, Michael Lopez Alegria, or MLA as they call him, is a retired uh, space shuttle astronaut. He holds the record for most spacewalks, but the other three are entirely charitable. They're very successful, and they have given a whole lot to their communities uh, and society in general. They're doing those 25 experiments for a children's hospital, Hospital, the Mayo Clinic, the Cleveland uh, Clinic, stem cell research, uh, heart and even aging experiments that experiments otherwise might not have seen the light of day or in this case, the darkness of space. That's their goal. All right. Thank you, Eric. And now we want to check in with News 6's James Sparvero at Kennedy Space Center. James. Well, it's very exciting right now, Bridget, because everything's going according to plan so far this morning. So Eric and his photographer, Jeff Seegers, have shown you shots of the launch pad. I'm a couple hundred feet from where they're standing here at the Kennedy Space Center press site. And you see that countdown clock is ticking in the right direction. All sights on 1117 liftoff, the instantaneous window of the AX-1 crew to the International Space Station. On SpaceX's live feed right now, where we last left off, they're sort of showing us a promotional video right now with no updates on the mission. But at the last report, just a few moments ago, the crew was seated in that SpaceX Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. We heard that the suit leak checks were being conducted after communications had been reached. So, four good suit leak, suit leak checks, that's the report from SpaceX right now. And then later, in just a few more moments, we're going to see the hatch close on the capsule that will be next. And the closeout teams, they always check for any leaks after they close the hatch as well. And as we count down towards the liftoff, we will see the crew access arm at launch pad 39A retract from the Crew Dragon capsule and the Falcon 9 rocket. And then propellant loading should begin if we stay on target here. So far this morning, SpaceX has said that they're actually just a little bit ahead of schedule. That's a good sign there. And then as we approach 1117, even closer, the teams give that traditional final go or no go for liftoff. Instantaneous window, it's 1117 or nothing today. The teams would have to recycle a 24 hour countdown. They do have backup windows selected Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully we won't have to worry about backup windows because everything right now, it's looking good guys. That is what we like to hear. James, thank you. Not far from the Falcon 9 since a rocket designed for the Artemis moon mission. As we told you earlier this week, this marks the first time in more than a decade two rockets built for crewed launches are on the launch pads at Kennedy Space Center. We're now hearing that testing will resume tomorrow for NASA's moon rocket. And NASA was attempting to do a full dress rehearsal for its upcoming Artemis 1 uncrewed test flight, but had to end things early on Monday because of a technical problem. Mission managers then put the testing on hold, so the Axiom launch 
could move ahead. The space agency now says it will start the process again tomorrow, complete with a fueling test on Monday. So a lot going on. Meantime, it won't be long before the next crewed mission to the ISS takes off from our Space Coast. SpaceX Crew 4 now set for no earlier than April 21st. So a little less than two weeks away. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that countdown as well.